What's up guys, welcome back to our introduction to April Tags and Vision Processing Series. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at what kind of data and information April Tags can give us and how we can use that information. So without further ado, let's get started. So the most important thing to consider when looking at physical data is the unit you're going to be using. So for the most part, the unit that it will provide is in inches, but you have to note a couple things. So if it's in within the library of April tags that the camera recognizes, then it will use the known tag size. So for example, if there is an April tag on the wall in the game that it knows to be five inches, then it'll use that tag size for all its calculations. This is important because tag size uh, affects every single piece of data that it'll give you. So you need to make sure tag size is accurate. Now on the other hand, if the tag isn't within its library of known tags, then it won't know what to do and the information it gives you won't be accurate. You'll have to go within uh, a specific setting and then change that variable. Now this also means that if you're using a tag ID that is used in the game but it's of the wrong size, then it'll give you the wrong information. So make sure you're using tags that are the correct size um, that are used in the game. Okay, now moving on to the X, Y, and Z information. So the Y is the distance outwards from the center of the camera to the center of the April tag. The Z distance is the distance upwards from the camera center to the center of the April tag. And the X distance is the horizontal distance from the camera center to the April tag center. Y is positive outwards, obviously. Z is positive upwards and X is positive to the right. So this will make more sense if you look at this image closer. So if this is our camera and that is our April tag, then the Y distance is the distance from the center of the camera outwards, the Z distance is that distance upwards, and the X distance is that distance to the right. And if you follow all of these quote unquote instructions, you'll go from the center of the camera to the center of the April tag. Now let's move on to the other pieces of information. In addition to the X, Y, and Z information, um, there's also information about angles. Um, and other information that April tags can give you. So pitch is the up or down angle or rotation about the x-axis as um, shown in the photo. So basically, um, if the camera was your head, then pitch would be like you nodding your head up and down to say yes to a question or something. Roll um, is the rotation about the y-axis. So that's like the, um, it's like rolling, right? Basically, so if you were to nod your head like one of those dolls uh, side to side, that would be rolling your head, and that's what roll means. And yaw is the left or right angle or rotation on the z-axis. So if you wanted to say no to something and you nodded your head, um, you would be yawing your head side to side. Uh, you can see this from the image. All right, so that's the yaw. Um, and yeah, the, the pitch and roll aren't shown, but the... Uh, they're basically the same thing. Um, for range and bearing, so range is the distance from the camera center to the April tag center, and bearing is the angle from the camera center to the April tag center. Um, that's pretty straightforward, and you can see that again by the diagram. And yeah, so range and bearing are mainly used for like a tank drive if you're trying to drive to an April tag, um, whereas the others are used for like positioning relative to April tag. Now we're back in Android Studio with similar tutorial code that we were using in the previous episode. So to access these values, you first have to get the detections. So this is done by the command April tag processor dot get detections, and you have to iterate through each detection. And to find the ID, it's pretty simple. You just say detection dot ID. To find all of the other values, you detection dot FTC pose dot that value. That's detection.fdc pose of that value. So if it was the x, then you do detection.fdc pose dot x, detection.fdc pose dot y, detection.fdc pose dot z. Um, these are all in inches um, for the most part, as explained before. Then there's pitch, yaw, and roll, which should all be in degrees. And then there's range, which is in inches, and bearing, which is in degrees. So you can use each of these values for different um, intentions. So a lot of the times you might want to use range and bearing for navigating to an April tag continuously. So if you have an April tag and you're trying to have a continuous way to 
navigate to that April tag, then you'd want to use range and bearing a lot to navigate to the center. Um, but there are other uses where, like, if you're trying to find the position of your robot relative to an April tag, that way if your encoders are a bit off, you can correct for that, then you might want to use X, Y, and Z values to say, hey, I know this April tag is going to be on the wall at this position every time, so I can use my camera to see where my robot is. And I can use yaw to see if my um, robot is to the left or right a little bit and correct for that. And this is very useful as your programs get larger because it prevents error propagation. And an example op mode that is in the um, FTC external samples is robot auto drive to April tag Omni, um, which is pretty interesting. And notice how, because it's like continuously navigating to the center of the April tag, it's using these uh, range and bearing things, bearing values that I was talking about before. Thank you.